Okay, so here I am with a few more materials. So as I said, I did the exact same which I showed in the previous videos. Just added some color, bit of roughness breakup and bump and that's it. So you have nothing missed. So I added here as well some bake points in between just to get a bit a bit a bit a better performance here in my viewport. So the next thing we want to do is the glass and the glass is a bit special so Mari can display transparency or at least as far as I know. But I still want to paint some roughness action going on. Later in Arnold we want to create a uh, mixed material and with some isolation masks we can drive these shaders or these different materials and create there a glass material for this one. Same for, for the eyes here I have created um, the eyes, nothing really special, just here I'll fall off and we will use this one later in the emission one or in the emission input. Okay, so let's have a look how we create the specular roughness stuff here for the glass. So merge one again. Not this one, we need the multi-channel, multi-channel merge, yes, and this one here as well. So what I what I found out is when, when I don't record, Mari's performance is way better, so I, I mean it makes totally sense, so the GPU has less to do with recording, so I'm recording here anyway with 60 FPS and a lot of pixels here with my 4K monitor. All right, so still here in my copy paste history, I have the material, call it glass. Glass. And we can hook it up here. And paint node, black, yes. And mask input. Selection group and select the glass. Right click, fill with white. So far, so good. So to create here a bit of nicer material, we can dive inside here. So we don't need any of, of the color data here. We can turn it to fully black. So the glass doesn't have a color. And here for the roughness, we want it pretty glossy. So nothing in the real world is perfectly um, shiny. Let's go for one. It doesn't look too bad. And the bump we can leave for now. So here, merge node. Yeah, out to save. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Or what was his name? Uh, this one was a pretty nice one. And now what do we get here? This one already looks pretty nice. Maybe it will look even nicer when we tile it a bit more. Oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's tile this one here more often so we get here these nice splotches. They are cool. They are really cool. Maybe not that strong. Ah, we, we anyway want to screen it so we have the underlying base roughness. And bring it a bit back. Just something like that. But we want even more, more. Let's check out what we have. Mm, I mean, we can we can test it out. Bring it in, over, and here as well. Screen it, not color dodge. I want to screen it. 
Not normal. Screen it, please. Please, Robert, screen. Yes. Okay, so that doesn't look too good, but we can grade this one to look good. So here we have our levels. And bring in some contrast. Give it a moment. <laughs> Pre pretty damn different from when, when I record and when I don't record. I think the performance will be a lot better on your end because, yeah, you don't record how you are doing this tutorial here. <laughs> or I think so. <laughs> and more contrast. More. Even more. We want to have more. Which Star Wars episode was it? More. But tile it maybe five times. That looks pretty cool. But we don't want to have it on the whole glass here. So we can insert here a paint node. And alpha of zero. Mask. And we can paint now where we want to have it. And here in the shelf, I have it as a custom shortcut. So you can create shortcuts under the, on some of the drop down here. <laughs> you, you will find it, of course. I, I know, come on, let's, I think, yeah, here, look, um, edit shortcuts, then you can create the shortcuts by your own. And here we have the organic, the, T-Rex brush and trust me you will love that. Okay, so you need to go first here to the paint tool and then you can select it and trust me you will love this this brush. I want to have this brush. Now we have it. Let's make it a bit bigger here. So we can add here around the edge a bit of extra details. Mm-hmm. Why not? Here as well. And let's go quickly around here. You can also drive it with an ambient occlusion mask or so, but I'm doing that here manually. It goes pretty fast. But you can spend on that as long as you want. But I think no one wants to see me here painting for hours. Nice. Here we have some glass as well. Just add a bit of extra details here. And here. No worries, it is a bit strong right now. We will dial back the opacity of this one here. Great. Nice. Here on the eyes, let's let them as they are. Let's go back. And as I said, Bring back here a bit of the opacity of this mix mix node to um, something which looks good to us. Nice, but we also want to have a bit of bump stuff going on here. Let's organize it here a bit nicer. Great. And merge this one over. Come on. Yeah, now we have it. Here we can go for overlay, why not? So we are getting also the black parts. Uh, 
and dial it back by a lot. So just a tiny, tiny bit here. And for that one as well. Give it a moment. So the bump is anyway super expensive to calculate. It will take a bit longer. Come on, please. And this one, let's go for screen. And bring it back by a lot. I'm on the right thing here. Ah, we we also need the mask, sorry. <laughs> Makes absolutely sense. So we have it only here on the areas where we have painted our stuff here. Yeah, just a tiny bit. As I said, it's more an overlaying stuff here or no, let's let's leave the mask here out. It will create here this edge, which I don't like that much. But I think that looks cool. We can let it as it is. And don't worry about the black. So later in the shader in Arnold, the black won't be visible because yeah, we are doing a mixed material and a fully transparent material here. Cool, so in the next video, I will create some nice dirt and dusk, dust action. And I hope you are still with me and see you then. Bye bye.